Hello everyone, it's Ali. Today I'm going to make this colourful card using Distress Oxide inks and a background stamp from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm just going to start with my smooth white cardstock and I've got spiced marmalade, abandoned coral and picked raspberry there. And I'm going to start with the abandoned coral ink and I'm just going to start layering that onto my paper. I just grabbed a scrap paper first so that I didn't get ink all over my mat. And I'm just going in and layering on that abandoned coral. And I am using at the moment, I've only got a couple of tools, wooden tools, and I am using separate sponges and as you can see, removing them each time. But I am finding that the black material on the sponge is pulling away from the rest of the sponge and it's starting to ruin my sponges having to take them on and off all the time so I might have to think of a different um, solution. I may have to start investing in a tool for each sponge colour, each ink pad, but we'll see. So I've just gone in there with the picked raspberry and laid on a little bit of that and now I'm going in with the spiced marmalade last of all and just putting that around the edge and trying to blend that in a little bit. And it didn't blend in all that well and it wasn't looking too great but I always keep going with this because I find that the more ink that you layer the better it blends and you can always go back in and out with the different colours and try and blend the join between the colours a little better. So that's what I'm doing there with the picked raspberry and just trying to smooth out the blend between the colours a little there. And then I decided that I wanted that, oh, I dried it off a little bit with my heat tool because it was getting quite wet with ink there. And then decided that I want a little bit more yellow around the edge. So I've gone in with fossilised amber and just made it a bit softer and tried to blend that spiced marmalade a little bit as well. Because um, I knew my stamp, the, some of that yellow was going to show from around the edge of my stamping. So I just wanted that to be a little bit softer around the edge. So I'm quite happy with that colour now and it's ready for stamping. So I'm just going over with my powder tool there to make sure that there's no wetness left on that and that my embossing powder doesn't stick to where I don't want it to. And that's the Emma background from Simon Says Stamp, just a beautiful stamp. Now I'm going to use my Tim Holtz platform which I have been using for my larger stamps pretty much all the time now and just pick that stamp up after I've positioned it where I want and I'm just going to use again the powder tool just to make sure there's no sticky spots and then I'm going to use my white Hero Arts ink there to tap over the background stamp and fairly firmly press that on to my paper to make sure I get a good impression and then just going over or sprinkling white embossing powder on that. Tapping off the excess. And then I just am going to heat set that with my heat tool, which takes a little while, but you just work your way down the image. It does help to heat up your heat tool first uh, and then just work your way down the image. And I've just fast forwarded through that a little bit as well. So that's all done now and try not to touch it straight away because it does take a little time to dry, not long but if you touch it when it's still hot it will smudge it. So I'm just going through my black and white paper pad from My Favourite Things, just deciding what sort of striped paper I want behind my piece. I've decided on those angled stripes there. And now I'm just going to size that up on my card base to seeing how much of that I would like showing behind my coloured piece. And I've just cut strips instead of using a whole piece. I just like to save my pattern paper a little bit and so just cut a couple of strips there just to sit behind the other piece of paper and attach those with my roller glue and just trim off the excess around the edge with my scissors. And then I can just attach my background piece on there. Um, and first of all, I'm just measuring it up and I'm just going to mark it with a pencil so I know how to cut, how much to cut it down. 
that's perfect and then I'm just going to attach that again with my roller glue fairly good coverage on the back of that so that it stays down sorry about my shadow getting in the way there I just had to get right over the top of it so I could see if it was um, in line and now I'm going to use my um, dye um, my you dye and also the all about you stamp set from my favorite things and I've just cut that out of some black card and now I want to get a sentiment and I've picked out a yellow piece of card there that matches in with the fossilized amber distress ink color and I've just got my sentiment there and I'm going to use my mini misty to stamp up that sentiment and Sorry about the noise in the background. That's my dog going in and out of the dog door. <laughs> and he doesn't go through quietly. And I'm just going to stamp that up um, with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And then I'm just going to trim that down with my scissors. Just check it out first with my sentiment just to see how long I want it and where I want it. And I've trimmed the end with my scissors, but I actually just trimmed the sentiment with my scalpel and ruler. I'd go lightly first with my scalpel and then press harder on that second or third go. So just light press a couple of times and then push through with my third go. And that tends to stop the paper kicking out at the end and making it wonky, a wonky cut. So um, then I'm just going to position that on. And I want to pop those two things up there. So I'm just going to use some black 3d foam cut some strips smaller strips to go behind the u and just trim it to size and put those pieces along the back of that u sentiment and then just remove the backing paper and attach that onto the front And with my little sentiment there, I also wanted to pop that up. So I just used some 3D foam to pop that up also. Just position that under the U. And that's the card. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I just love using the Distress Inks and the background stamps from Simon Says Stamper. Just beautiful. So, um... Again, thanks for visiting my channel and I'll see you again next time.